Okay, right now what I'm going to do is make a flavor infused olive oil. And so what I'm going to be using is this little curret and I'm going to put some garlic cloves that I already uh, a little bit smashed for the fla garlic flavor. <laughs> it's not go doesn't want to go in. Okay, thank goodness I had a toothpick here. Okay, it's going to probably get pushed down. Ah, now my finger won't come out. <laughs> okay, let me make a disclaimer. I am not a chef and I'm not playing one on TV or on the internet. So I, these oh, our, our, our cloves are very large. I wasn't expecting them to be, um, not to go in. So, but that's what happens in real life. So we'll go with it. And I think that's plenty of garlic there. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a spring of rosemary, fresh organic rosemary. And I know it's fresh and organic because I cut it from my backyard. And I'm going to stick that in there too. Okay, for added flavor and also for looks. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use uh, basil vitality. And I'm going to calculate maybe five drops or maybe three. I want the rosemary to be the star because it has the rosemary there. And then I'm going to use uh, two drops of oregano. So you can tell that this is probably going to be more like an Italian uh, flavor thing. I can also use this for dipping oil if I add by, uh, balsamic vinegar. And this is a brand new bottle, so I know there's oil in there. Oregano is very um, potent. And the next oil that I'm going to use is rosemary. Just pretend this is a white label, okay? But um, so for rosemary, I'm going to add five drops. Okay, six, it's okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to now add the olive oil. You can add other things to this. You can dry, uh, add dry herbs, or you can even add peppercorns and different things that you would like to have for flavoring. I just decided that that's all I'm going to do. And so hopefully that is going to give me the, the flavor that I'm looking for. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the olive oil make sure that I don't overflow it that because I need to put that thing in there. I think that's about as far as I'm going to go with the olive oil. And then you insert the thing to pour back and it's ready to go. Clean it up if you made a mess like I did. And then it is already infused. And this is something cute that you can do for the holidays. You could do all kinds of different flavors. We have thyme, marjoram, we have all the um, herbs, essential oils that you can do, add your little herbs or whatever paste you wanna add. And then you can just put a little, nice little label, a little bowl, and this will make a nice little gift for somebody who likes to eat. And this will be a nice little, um, so right now the oils will, are there already. I don't even to have to do anything because they're going to melt in with, with the olive oil. And whenever I want something to dip my bread or some, something like that, or even if I'm cooking spaghetti or something, I can use part of this oil to infuse the flavor. And then add a little bit of um, balsamic vinegar and then Parmesan cheese or whatever else you wanna do. And then you could just have your dipping oil. So I hope you like the recipe and and enjoy if you want to make it. And I'm putting my link there and my information if you want to order the oils. Thank you for watching.